going on, Runnards? This is Roger here, by myself, playing some FIFA. I'm going to play a couple matches, break down a few of my attacks, break down a few of their attacks, show you what I'm doing right, show you what I'm doing wrong, showing you guys just some tips and tricks that I personally have learned from playing FIFA. I'm not a professional. I, I, don't, I don't play a ton of FIFA. I play a decent amount. But... It's one of my, you know, one of my hobbies, pastimes, guilty pleasures, however you want to word it. I enjoy sitting down, playing a few games of FIFA, get frustrated, get mad when I get my butt kicked, or, you know, I, I'm really happy when I'm winning games. For the player. Well, there is a saying that uh, things come in threes. They come in threes for him, a hat-trick. Not just three goals, but he's played really well. His overall game has been top class today. Okay, guys, so I got kind of lucky on this goal. Um, just a lot of, like, one-touch passing and very light passing like that. But, you know, stole the ball there, got pretty clean steal. And I'm just looking for a lot of passes I can see. You know, I'm not looking for great passes. Like right there was a pretty bad pass. But just looking for passes until I get that that one yard of space. Even though I think, honestly, I didn't see a pass on. I didn't see a great pass. You know, maybe I could have passed to... I don't know how to pronounce his name. But he's my right mid right now out there on the far post. And this guy over here. Could have passed to him here, maybe gotten a through ball through to him if I would have, you know, went back towards my goal, back towards the 18-yard box, and maybe gotten a through ball in. But I didn't see, you know, during the play, I didn't see any great opportunity here. So I just turned and took the shot and actually slotted it top. That's not, that's a hard shot to pull off a lot of times unless your guy is good. And in this case, I mean, I got Robin on his strong foot. He took took the shot with his left foot, so that worked worked out for me but this is what you want to do I mean you know big thing possession for me I play possession so I look for the easy the easy passes you know right here not the pass I wanted to I wanted it to go to um, brand it there on the outside post across but it just took a shorter touch or a lighter touch than I meant for it to so I'm sitting here looking for a pass. When I come out, I see, you know, I could make that pass with it being so close. You know, maybe that guy would have gotten a touch on it. But, you know, I could have taken the shot on there too, I think. But this extra yard of space here gave me the ability to turn and take that shot. Even though he almost got a foot on it there. But, I mean, that's that's the kind of play I try to do. Okay, guys. Uh, this is my little tip on defending. It's not... 100% effective, but this is, in my opinion, the best method of defending right here. So you have a guy, let me change camera angle, here we go. Okay, so Ronaldo just got the ball out here on the wing. I'm, you know, I'm switching to this guy here in the 18-yard box, just switch to him. I'm jockeying right now, jockeying, you know. I'm making sure that this guy, you know, he doesn't get around me is my whole purpose right now. I make him make this pass. And when he does, I steal possession by completely, you know, doing my best to close down that whole box from him getting inside and also from him getting that pass inside. He could have um, crossed it here. He could have put it in the air and that probably would have let him close down on me or let him get that ball into the center of the box. Hoping my, I was hoping my other two defenders would have saved that and that's why, you know, they had pretty decent position there. But that's the thing right there. You want to jockey the player. And you do that by holding the left trigger or L2 on a PlayStation controller. Here's another example of me jockeying a player. So, you know, Ronaldo got the ball on the right wing this time. I'm getting up beside of him the best I can. And I start jockeying now, right when he makes that cut. You see, this time he actually did a skill move. It's the Ronaldo chop, I believe, is what this skill move is called. And he starts coming in because I jockeyed. He went to, for that. He went for that pass again, but I closed him down so fast that he had no pass on, 
and I get the ball out. And my guys win it, and we start going back up the field on offense. So simple, you know, you get up to beside him. You don't want to jock, jockey too early where he's in front of you because you are moving slower when, when you jockey. I see him start this skill move knowing what the skill move is. It's a Ronaldo chop. It's going to change directions, and he's going to start going inside. If I were to continue sprinting here, he probably would have went behind me and gotten a good run in and maybe, you know, had a shot on goal or a pass off. So here I start jockeying. The second I see that Ronaldo chop, I start jockeying. You can see right here, my guy starts breaking down into that sideways stance. As he's doing that, I'm closing him down and put a, you know, a good touch on that ball to just, I don't care where it goes as long as it's not going into my box. That's the thing. You want to keep them out of that 18-yard box the best you can. You know, some guys, especially if you're playing online, will score even outside, you know, up here around the top of the key and everything. But with the CPUs, they don't always shoot that way. I mean, some will. But doing it this way where you're jockeying, you're breaking him down, you're closing him down, you're getting as close to him as you can without giving him a play around you. That is the idea. So I, in this situation, I get the ball out. You know, I'm thinking it's going to go out of bounds. My guy just happens to be there, gets that pass up the field. We maintain possession here. We get this possession here, and we're, you know, we're going to go and hopefully, you know, score a goal on a quick break. Okay, guys. So this time, I'm showing you kind of a quick break. Not not the quickest of breaks I've ever had, but it, it was decently quick, you know. They just came off an attack. We're pushing down the field. So I get it out to my winger, Bellarabe, here, or my mid, actually. And I see right here, right here, you see Thomas Muller coming in the center of the box at full pace while this guy here in the center is starting to break down. Like, you know, he's running here. He starts a jog, and it's like, I can't pass the Thomas Muller. He'll intercept it. Right there, when he stopped, you can see him break down with this step right here he takes. He takes and he breaks down. So that's when I started powering up the thing, when I started seeing him go slower. Because that means with Thomas Muller running on here, he can easily outrun that guy to the ball if I play the ball slightly in front. So here, charging up that pass to Thomas Muller and put it out in front of him. Thomas Muller runs onto it. And you get the nice, easy goal. You know, I actually go to the near post because the far post is so so wide open. Usually the keeper will go to the more wide open shot. As you see, he kind of does there. And you just shoot right on the opposite side of him. Slotting it in. Nice and easy. Wonderful goal. So after just leaving you guys on that last goal, I came back and scored a second one rather quickly on these guys. So here I have Brandit running down the wing. He's my left mid uh ribbery just passed on to him i did a little skill move there to you know get inside wonderful skill move by the way wonderful skill move if you don't know how to do it you take the right stick and you flick it back but towards the direction so it's slightly angled so like in this situation you know if you're looking at his back like this you would flick the stick twice into the bottom right really fast and you get this nice little flick you get that nice, I mean, you're in, you've beaten this man, you've got to run on, okay? But see, these other two guys here are closing me down fast. I'm going to lose the ball if I keep it. So I pass to Thomas Muller, who's got the ball. He's got a man in front of him. He cannot shoot here without that guy blocking him. He will block him unless I do a skill move to beat him. But instead, I see Brandit came on the inside. So I play it just a little bit to the inside, so he did, he so this defender cannot block the pass. So I played it and pushed it into the inside just a bit, and then just did a nice little easy through. I mean, barely tap that button, and then a finesse shot to the corner. So you know he takes this first little dink, one touch shot, and again, as I was discussing earlier, Brandit being a right footed striker, he is on the left side of the goal. You know, the left side of the center of the goal, I guess, would be the best way to word that. So in this situation, he will take that shot to the outside post with his right foot, which is his dominant foot, giving you the best opportunity for him not to put it wide or straight at the keeper. Okay, guys, I'm back. Just scored third goal of the game. I swear once you score your first goal, there's like a momentum shift. 
and you just start, you get a lot more breakaways and stuff. I think they like switch to offense. So here you can see I'm looking to play this ball, lob through to Ribery. One of the things that I've learned is as the ball's getting to about here, you want to flick the right stick forward and he gets that nice touch. Instead of fumbling the ball, he gets a nice little touch on. He really doesn't, I mean, yes, he loses a bit of stride right here when he's taking that touch, but for the most part, he's right back into his stride, way ahead of this guy. But I wanna go on the inside. So here I hold the left, the left trigger or L2 in PlayStation's case. I'm slowing down, you see I'm starting to guard the ball. I'm looking to perform that skill move again with the two flicks down and to the right in this situation to get, well, to, to his back in the right. So away from, away from the way he's running and to the right. So it's slightly angled away from him and to the right. And I do that little nice, I think it's called a coif turn. Get that nice in. And again, you can see what I'm already doing. So you see number four here. He's flat-footed. This guy, if you watch, he is running toward Ribery. Number three is running toward Ribery until he can tell that Ribery is passing. In which case, he goes to Muller, but it's too late. Muller is full stride heading toward that goal. I get that pass nice and around number four because if he would have defended right, he would have stayed there and let number three close him down, and he could have blocked this pass. But he didn't. It's too late for number three. Thomas Muller has, you know, has the advantage here. It's one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. I take a nice shot left footed with Thomas Muller, who has four star left foot, I believe. So it's okay to do a left footed shot with him. Put that ball far post this time because the keeper was coming toward me. I always try to shoot away from the way the keeper is moving, you know. That's what I try to do. So, you know, this time I played it to the more open part of the goal, shooting around the keeper. He was protecting the near post. It goes in, you know, nothing beautiful, nothing fancy, no, you know, 20, 30 yard shot out, you know, upper 90, but it scores goals. Okay, guys. So we're back again. Another goal, fourth goal of the game. I had a quick break, a really fast break this time. Played it up here to Robin. Pulled it on the inside, you know. I meant to play it to Bellarabe here, but it went to Thomas Muller, who then just tapped it on to Bellarabe. I see that nice, you know, that there's a lane there for between Bellarabe and Thomas Muller. So I just press A, get a nice pass. I don't want a through ball. I just want to pass into Thomas Muller where he's, you know, going to be in a second. Here, I see, you know, this guy here, has broken me down you know I ha I do not have the second he turns and squares up like that he's jockeying I do not have the ability to get around him without a you know great skill move and then it's lucky I try to pass onto my right mid I don't know how to pronounce his name it starts with a Y Y A M something I'll sh but you know I do a nice little through ball to him I see you know he's running down Hopefully, uh, you know, I'm not certain here, but number six there on their team, I'm just trying to play it in front of him and far enough into the inside that I get it on, that I get him open. You know, he's wide open right now. Now, I'll tell you, this is an instant replay, so I do miss this shot, but I hit it, I hit it in the pose. What I should have done instead of doing the one-touch shot with his left foot, because he's a right-footed striker, I should have taken a touch with him, put it on his right foot, because I had time, I had a little bit of space, I had the opportunity, I should have taken one touch, played it on his right foot, and then finesse shot it it into the right side of the goal. Instead, I did a one-touch shot to the left side, it came out, and I got lucky, Frank Ribery was standing right there, slot it, you know, right dead center of the goal. Keeper was out of position on the ground after that dive. No way to save that. So, for future reference for you guys, if you see, you know, the ball's rolling across like this, he's nine times out of, 
out of 10, going to take it with his left foot in this situation. He's on the left side of the left side of the goal, but he's running to the left as the ball is rolling to the left as well. Nine times out of ten, they will take it on their left foot in this situation with a one-touch shot. You you have a couple seconds. You know this this guy here, number six, he's gonna come down and he's gonna you know do everything he can to save it. So in this situation, what I should have done was while holding the right bumper, I should have done a pullback with him. And then finesse shot it into the upper 90 on the right side. Instead, I did the one-touch shot, and that's why I hit the post. It was one-touch shot on his weaker foot. Okay, guys, so they're breaking away this time. I'm on defense. Just came back and missed the scoring opportunity. Right now, I'm my guys are way out of position. You got 18 wide open here. 19, my guy here is two we have two guys covering this guy one guy covering this guy right now he has a clean open here if 16 comes down to guard him then it's going to leave 18 back here wide open you know easy through ball in nine times out of ten goal yeah, at least a shot on goal and that's what you want to avoid so in this situation i go to 19 i go here 19 Grab him, pull him over. I get him back as quickly as I can. 16, and step down on 18 when I pulled him over. That's exactly what you want. You have, you know, you got a pair here, a pair here, and a pair here. They're, that's their main attacking force right now is those three. You know, you got this guy running in. He's going to come open in a second. But I've switched to this guy. I'm controlling him. And I just started jockeying, like I said before. You, you create that jockey movement. You wait, you wait. You see right here, he's taking that touch forward. And it's kind of a big touch. So I step in and take the ball. So you, like I said, you start jockeying. You wait until you see him take that touch. See how far forward it is. You think you can win it. You go in. You do not tackle. You do not press B to tackle. Or at least I never do in this situation. I simply pull my guy forward, like get him as close as I can, close down the guy that is attacking. Like I said, this guy here is stopping the pass on to him if he goes in. You know, there is kind of a through ball option here right now, and that's why I'm pushing this way, trying to stop it, because there's no one back here right now. This whole side is open, so you have to protect one, two, three other guys with a fourth with a fourth guy he can pass back to if he's passing back at least he's getting it out of your box this is a dangerous situation so i'm going in to the far post right now i'm pushing out to the far post closing him down giving him less opportunity and then i see the ability to take the ball so i step in to take it you win the ball and you get the ball out to your guys okay so here i see ronaldo's on the wing i switch to 16 I'm trying to keep 16, creating Ronaldo, creating like space between me and Ronaldo because he's got this guy here wide open if I come at Ronaldo. 19 is not really guarding him too well yet, so I'm kind of staying in between him trying to stop that ground pass to him. Now that 19 has got there, it's fine. I trust Haldez, I believe is who it is. With that header winning the ball in the air. my Typically, my defenders win the ball in the air. You know, I, I try to get defenders who are good in the air because of a lot of through balls and crosses and stuff like that. Or, I mean, a lot of through balls and crosses. I try to get guys who can win the ball in the air. So, again, here, you know, I'm jockeying. I'm jockeying to stop that pass to him on the ground. Hoping my guy will close him down. And win this header, which he does. He gets the ball out. However, he gets the ball out to Ronaldo. Not, not a great opportunity for me right now. Ronaldo gets the ball turned around. So here, I'm actually number five. I'm here. He does like a little frog hop right now. But that's who I am. I'm holding R1 though. So six, number six right here, which is top rack, is jockeying this guy. You know, 
I should have switched over. There's a lot of space between that guy and the ball right now. If I could have gotten top rack in, probably could have stolen the ball there. However, I'm taking the safe route rather than risking, you know, a challenge right there. You know, he gets the ball to me first. He can get out. I have a lot more guys in the box than he does. So right now I'm just cre creating an extra man in the box, in the center of the box, trying to make sure they don't get the pass on, you know, into the box. He instead takes the pass out to Ronaldo, who I'm starting to close down. I'm, you know, still jockeying. He takes the shot on, and it's not a good shot. You know, it's Ronaldo's right foot, you know, his strong foot, but he takes a bad one-touch shot, kind of bobbles a little bit, doesn't have a great opportunity, puts it low on the ground, and well outside of the post. All right, guys. Thank you guys for coming back, supporting our channel, coming out to see what we're doing. You know, I've got a solo FIFA here, just playing a few, a couple games, showing you guys a little tips and tricks that I personally use. Not by any means saying I'm an amazing FIFA player, or the best FIFA player, or anything like that. But these are some of the tips and tricks that I use while playing. I won this match 5-0, or 5-1 I mean, and I won the previous match 7-0. Two really good games that I just played, showing you guys, like I said, a few tips, tricks that I personally use and what I look at while attacking. Thank you, Runarts, for coming to hang out with us. And I really appreciate the support, guys.